Hello everybody and welcome back to Go on Dragon Games. I'm your host Rocky2815 and today we have got another LEGO Ninjago Tournament of Elements review. Today we have got set number 70753 and it comes with one Jade Blade being the first of the four Jade Blades you can get and it comes with minifigures Cole and Seven and the set is called Lava Falls, I do believe, but it will be in the title, so watch out for that. But anyway, let's go in. Okay, first up, let's have a look at the minifigures. We've got Cole in his Terminant of Elements outfit, and Seven, one of the um, Anachondri Warrior Soldiers, and, of course, completely new printing for this year, and... He, Cole's weapon is the bow staff, I believe it's what it's called. It's basically the same bow staff staff piece that we get with Sensei Wu in a couple of the other sets. And then Seven has got a brick built thing. So we got one of these lightsaber hilts but with holes um at either end then it's a one by one of course cylindrical cone piece and then we got actual sword here so let's just get rid of bow staff so you can actually see their printing up close so my personal opinion on these minifigures is that I like them very much, but of course my favourite is Lloyd the Green Ninja, because he has been my favourite ninja of all the ninjas since 2012 when he was first introduced. So, we've had a look at the front printing, now let's have a look at the back. Okay, at the back we've got Cole's Element of Earth symbol, and we've got Sevin's belt printing going to the back but also his snake tattoos which do have an important role to play in the Lego Ninjago TV series storyline wise and just to show you there's no back printing on Seven's head there's no back printing on Cole's head either I'm not sure why they didn't do any back printing on Cole's head it might be nice to have some sort of scared face or another face because like his hair does cover all the way down I get with seven because well let's have a look you could easily see a back printing of a head through there so that's understandable but that's basically all for the minifigures let's move on to the set itself okay we've got the actual set so we've got uh, at least one feature on this well, we've got one feature, but of course, there's the lava, there's the bridge, and I believe these are just the standard tread tank Lego pieces, but also we've got a Technic pin under there. And then we have got the Jade Blade, which is like a scythe, because Cole's the element of Earth, he's always built, did a scythe, so that's what makes sense. And we've got the big translucent flame pieces at the bottom, a couple of rock pieces, but also we've got this pin. So if I get our minifigure of seven, I lie him down right here. He's just having a nice little nap, and then you pull the Technic pin, and <sighs> burnt to a crisp by falling in the lava. So... That is the practical function, but also, how do you make the bridge go back? Easy. You get the Technic pin, and then you push back in, and perfect. So, I'll be back in a minute, and we shall say our fond farewells for the video. Okay, everybody, it's time to say our goodbyes, and you thought Minifigure Me was not going to be in this video, possibly. I'm not sure what people think. But anyway, thank you, everybody watching so much and I will make this quick because Cole is behind me and he probably wants to get over the bridge very quickly so 
Anyway, thank you for watching. Remember to leave a, a like, favorite, share, and also subscribe and comment. And look out on the horizon for more LEGO Ninjago set reviews coming to you soon. So, until next time, stay golden, stay frosty, and bye -zies.